I play the role of Jason in charge of collection and cash flow in OEC computers. The company is facing major collection issues and the result, the available cash flow is hurt. Customers are not paying on time and there are no collection activities to amend the problem. And there is no visibility into the cash flow status resulting in the company overspending beyond its budget. The goal is to have a system that proactively alerting me regarding customers' debts, by that improving collection and cash flow. When I log into SAP Business One, I set up the main screen called the cockpit with information around customers' open debts and cash flow. The overdue receivable amount is in the red zone. My goal is to get down to 250K, although I can see we reduced the amount by 63% since last month. Our gross profit is better than ever, as well as our revenue for the month with a number very close to the target. However, the cash flow is not anywhere close to my target and looks like our expenses exceed our income. This confirms my suspicion that customers are simply not paying. I want to look at a couple of financial reports and I will use the financial workbench which gives me all possible documents, windows and reports related to financials. I open the P&L statement and run it for the current uh, fiscal year, although the year is not over yet. I can see that in terms of profit, the company is doing well, considering it's just July. I will now open the balance sheet uh, report as well for the current year. And here I can see the liabilities, assets and equity of the company. It seems like the company's liabilities are very high, which means many open debts to pay its vendors as well. Going back to the cockpit, I take a look at this aging dashboard that shows me some overdue debts that are more recent. However, most of the debts is more than 90 days old. I'm curious to see the status of invoices that I personally own. Using this count uh, report, I see I have 34 open invoices. When I open it and sort it by due date, I notice the first invoice in the list that is open for a long time now. I drill down and then I open the relationship map to show me graphically the entire sales cycle. I notice the order is still open and I see one item that has not been delivered and this may explain why the customer didn't pay. I decide to send a quick message to the controller and ask him to follow up on the invoice using the live collaboration tool embedded in the application. I can even attach the actual invoice to the conversation and he will receive a dynamic link that opens the invoice in his instance. I want to take a look at other open debts. For that, I'm going to open the aging report. This is a more detailed report that allows me to also print customer statements. Maxitech is one of my uh, VIP customers. So I just want to send him a reminder regarding his open debt. I choose the row and print preview so I can see the customer statement.
Okay, so now I will send it by email directly to MaxiTech through, through Business One. And it will attach the customer statement to the email itself. Looking down in the customer aging, I see the customer Machina Corporation owes me a lot of money and most of their invoices are from last year. I decide to send a dunning letter and in the process alert them that a fee will be billed to their account if they don't pay after this notice. I use the Dunning wizard, which uh, allows me step by step to select the customer and generate Dunning letters. I just want to run it for Machina Corporation. And I get a list of open transactions with details regarding any interest and fees that will be charged. I will execute and send it via email. Finally, I want to analyze the company's cash flow. I'm going to use the cash flow forecast, which gathers all possible transactions that can affect my cash flow and displays it graphically with the distinction between incoming, outgoing amounts, and how it affects my cash balances overall. It looks six months into the future, I have, however, I can adjust it if I need it. The report lists the documents that are included, as well as their certainty level, which indicates how sure am I that this money will be paid or received. I see down the line when looking at the graph in the next few months, I have some planned expenses, which bring my overall cash balances down significantly. In the configuration area, I will increase the security level to check if there are any orders or POs that may change the picture. And indeed, in January of next year, I have a large order coming in. To conclude, using SAP Business One, you can monitor the company's cash flow, get alerted over open debts, as well as act by sending customers statements and dunning letters. The cash flow gives you a holistic view of the company status, which helps you make better decisions overall.